Okay. So let's just say, and again, let's say that you have that credit card for emergencies versus, you know, cash savings. Um, so maybe you just rock and roll with, you know, 100, 200 bucks in your bank account. And for your emergencies and major purchase, let's say you got, you know, a credit card with like a $2,500 credit limit on it. You know, that'll pretty much cover any emergency outside of something really serious. Um, so, you know, the transmission goes out in your car. And now you got to go spend 1200 bucks and whatnot. So you swipe it on the credit card. You're going to owe that money back. And if you didn't have that money saved, $1,200 cash that you can put in your pocket is hard to come by. It takes time to accumulate that savings and be able to put it in the bank and just let it sit there. It takes an immense amount of time to do that. So you transmission blows, you go swipe that expense on the credit card. Now you're definitely going to be paying credit card interest. You're literally now going to have to make a payment to somebody. Your income's tied up. So then you have less spending money over. And now your all income's going to these credit card payments, boom, every month, every week, whatever it is. And your income's tied up. Now, you're not financially independent at that point because your money's spoken for. You know, what happens if you get hit, you know, Murphy's Law, you get hit with something, transmission blows up. Swipe the credit card. Something else happens. Swipe the credit card. Now what? You just reached credit limit. You're spending money you didn't have. Emergencies, yeah, they suck. But paint the picture of someone who saved up that money. All right. You got that $1,200 sitting in a savings account. Transmission goes out. Damn, man. There goes my savings, right? You go in there, you write the check. Here you go. You walk away. You don't owe nobody nothing. You don't owe anybody anything. You don't owe them anything. It was your cash. Now, the only person that you debatably owe is yourself to replenish your savings. So instead of, you know, you go swipe the credit card, then you got to make these payments with interest to these credit card companies... Now you just have to make payments to yourself to rebuild your savings. And I guarantee you that you're not charging yourself interest. I guarantee you that, you know, you're a lot more lenient with, you know, the timing of your payments and whatnot. And again, like, if something happens along the way while you're trying to rebuild that savings, you know, whatever you've got, you can use towards that problem, that issue. 